Many people today find themselves in constant pursuit of fulfillment, searching for something external to bring lasting happiness. Society has conditioned us to believe that external achievements, possessions, and success will satisfy our deepest longings. Yet, over time, we begin to realize that nothing outside of ourselves can truly fulfill that inner yearning. We may achieve certain goals, but they never seem to fully quench our thirst for meaning. Instead, we often find ourselves caught in an endless cycle of striving, always chasing what feels just out of reach. This cycle can cause us to live in a state of perpetual doing, focused on action, achievement, and external validation, while neglecting the deeper parts of ourselves. But beneath all the noise, all the movement, there is a deeper truth that many of us overlook. The Bible says, Be still and know that I am God. Stillness, in this sense, isn't about inaction. It's about returning to a place of inner peace, joy, and profound understanding, a state that cannot be reached through external accomplishments or endless striving. In fact, when we look at religious texts like the Bible with fresh eyes beyond their theological interpretations, we discover profound spiritual and psychological insights that can transform our lives. At its core, the Bible is about ascension, about rising beyond the limits of our lower selves to realize our true divine potential. When we explore the teachings of Christ from this perspective, we find a path to awakening our own divinity. Christ, consciousness often viewed as a historical or religious concept, becomes a guiding principle for our spiritual transformation. As William Donahue, known for his unique interpretations of biblical teachings, explains, Christ is not just a figure from the past. Christ represents an ideal truth, a divine essence within each of us waiting to be awakened. The term Christ comes from the Greek Christos, meaning anointed. It signifies the presence of divine truth within us, capable of transforming our flawed, earthly nature into something higher. This transformation is not just a theoretical concept. It's something we can experience directly in our lives. The Bible tells us that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, a reference to the embodiment of divine truth in human form. But this teaching isn't just about Jesus. It's a call for each of us to realize that the kingdom of God is within us, as Jesus himself said. The path to salvation, to enlightenment, is an inner journey, a journey to awaken the Christ within. Jesus often taught through metaphor, urging us to seek the kingdom of God within. He emphasized the importance of the single eye, a reference to the third eye or inner vision, through which we can perceive higher truths. He also warned that we lose the key to true understanding when we fail to look within. When Jesus spoke of storing treasures in heaven rather than on earth, he was referring to something much deeper than material wealth. The treasure he spoke of is the deep spiritual insight and inner wisdom that we can cultivate by looking within ourselves. He described the path to this treasure as narrow, difficult to find, but available to those who are willing to seek it. Entering through this narrow gate requires raising our consciousness, transcending the limitations of our everyday thoughts and beliefs. By following Jesus' teachings, not as religious dogma, but as a guide to inner transformation, we begin to discover the light within ourselves, the source of true power and freedom. Freedom, as Jesus taught, is not found in following religious rules or external authorities. True freedom comes from connecting with the divine light within and following its guidance. This inner light is more precious than anything the world can offer because it leads to profound self-realization and spiritual awakening. Jesus came not to demonstrate his own greatness, but to show us the greatness that resides within each of us. He embodied the divine essence that we all possess and showed us how to connect with it. The message he brought is one of empowerment, urging us to awaken to our own divinity. In John chapter 10, verse 34, Jesus said, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? He was trying to convey a powerful truth that within each of us lies the potential for divine realization. Dot salvation is not something we need to seek from an external source. 
it is already within us, waiting to be recognized. When we connect with this divine presence, we begin to awaken dormant parts of our brain and mind. New ideas, wisdom and understanding start to flow naturally, transforming not only our own lives but also the world around us. Ascension, in its truest sense, is about rising from a state of unawareness to a state of enlightenment. It's about moving from passivity to conscious, active self-awareness. Jesus said, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. This teaching speaks to the transformation of our psyche, the need to transcend our lower, egoic selves and embrace our higher, divine nature. Denying ourselves means letting go of the limiting beliefs and attachments that hold us back from realizing our full potential. To follow the path of Christ is to recognize that we are not merely physical beings bound by earthly limitations. We are divine beings with infinite potential. Our thoughts, beliefs and actions shape our reality. And by aligning ourselves with the divine essence within, we can manifest anything we desire. The mind of Christ or the divine consciousness within us, is capable of transforming all negative self-concepts. But the first step is to make a firm decision to change. It requires us to shift our perspective and commit to eliminating the limiting beliefs that keep us trapped in fear, doubt, and insecurity. This transformation doesn't happen through force or willpower alone. It is a process of surrender, allowing the divine power within us to guide the way. Once we make the decision to align with this power, the path becomes clear. The Christ within us begins to shine, illuminating our true potential and guiding us towards spiritual freedom. Ultimately, the message of Jesus is one of self-empowerment. He taught that the kingdom of God is not something to be found outside of ourselves, but within. To know God is to know ourselves. To understand the divine is to understand the depth of our own being. The teachings of Jesus, when understood in this light, offer a powerful roadmap to inner transformation. The time to awaken to this truth is now. The Christ within you is calling for activation, urging you to recognize your divine nature. When you align with this truth, you will experience a profound shift in your life, a shift that transcends earthly limitations and connects you with the infinite possibilities of the divine.